Hello world and welcome to the monumentous day of the English FA Cup final against Liverpool and Bolton. And, you know, we obviously, you've seen the last episode, at least I hope you did. If you haven't, go check it out. It was a good run into the end of the season. Now that I've, you've probably gone check it out, look, this is where we ended up. We ended up on 69 points. You've seen it, so you know, sixth place, all good. Now, we have a chance to have a trophy like the great FM Llama predicted. So that's nice. So, I have my shirt on. Let's get ready to do this. So, we'll be taking on Liverpool, guys, in the FA Cup final. I did not think I would be saying this this soon, right? Wow, that's insane. And the team that I think can do it today will be Butland in goal. As always, we don't have much choice. Bianchi on the left, Brainthorne on the right, Tuanesbe. Brainthorne, Tuanesbe, sorry. Raskazov, Mateos Fernandez, and Gujman in the middle together. Spillane, Vera, Ibrahim, and Fernandez up front. Ah. Oh. Quite a nice looking team, not gonna lie. We're gonna give Joe Settle. Uh... You know what? I may actually do this. I may actually put low on in case we're winning. That way, he hopefully, you know, he can hopefully get the trophy as well. He can get a medal. I wonder if it counts. I wonder if it counts. I hope he does. If you're on the bench, you're an important player. I, I think you know. I don't know. Oh man, this isn't this is insane. I did not expect it to go this well. This season went. Had its ups and downs, but in the end, I think the ups won. We got sixth place. We made it into Europe, and now made it to the FA Cup. And we hoped that the screen wouldn't close. Well, we hoped that the screen wouldn't freeze, and it did. So I will see you again when the screen unfreezes. And here we are. We're ready to play against them. And this is a scary looking team, which looks very similar to what they have right now. Apart from, nope, <laughs> as you head further up, you realize it's not the case. Because, you know, the defense is the same. Joe Gomez, Van Dijk, Arnold, Robertson, Allison, Fabinho, Jones, I guess it makes sense because he's in the future. And De Jong, Rafinha, West, and Dybala is terrifying. This team, I'm not sure if it's ready for it. We might have to play careful. But at the same time, we've played quite well for against Liverpool. Oh, this is going to be an insane one. I think Jurgen Klopp is telling his boys that they need to be careful of us. He knows. He knows. We've met with him a few times. I'll go positive. I think positive is the way to go. I don't want to isolate myself on stupid runs. And then Splane. Alison Becker knows how to catch. Nice. That's a good uh, way to find out on the seventh minute. What else is going to happen? Oh, I see there's a lot of problems, but Mateo Fernandez stops it. Ibrahim has, you know, I like the fact that over the season he became a person who loses the ball in the right wing. No, I was going to say he became a person that, you know, he was, um, you know, like an option. He was backup option, rotation option. And now he's finally, you know, like he, he has to play every game. And his resurgence or his appearance allowed Spillane to go on his favorite left side so he can use his right foot. And Ibrahim does not know how to shoot stuff from long shots. And this is why we train him in that. Okay, so the first shot is ours. The first, well, chance is ours. Ibrahim, oh, his dribbling passed quite well. And what a save by Becker. Eh, to be fair, if, if if Becker had to jump for that, I think that's a good shot. I think that's a good shot. Oh, dude. Oh, oh man, this is, this is scary. This is scary. This is a game in which... Man, they can go either way. Like, we... we Last time I was the same. I've, I think I've told you about it. How it's just you just don't know what Liverpool can do. It's just you could be winning the whole game. You could be dominating. You can be making chances. One counter attack, and then that's it. You know, the Bala scores. That's enough crap. Fabinho, Virgin, Virgin, Virgil, Yakes. De Jong plays very well to West, but Butlin intercepts. Good, good. He learned how to come out like that. That's good. Can Ibrahim win it? Ibrahim does win it. Playing to play with Roskazov. Roskazov don't lose it. He plays it to Tuanesbe and he recovers quite well. Dybala putting quite a good amount of pressure. Ibrahim. Gujman plays it to Roskazov. Is he going to put a nice cross in? Fernandez is fit. Ibrahim still can't shoot for shit, but it's not a shot. It's a, it's, a, it's an assist, a goal, a pass. I guess we'll see in 3D what happened there. Maybe it was on purpose or maybe we'll see. Who knows? Gujman to Roskazov as always. You know, that's good passing. He brings the ball just behind him to Ibrahim, who... Ooh, I'm not sure. I think it looked like a pass. It looked like a pass. Let's let's say Ibrahim intended to do that. And Javier Fernandez 
wow. We are winning 1-0 against Liverpool. We just need to keep up the pressure. And as long as we don't concede now, we have a chance. But I think if we we might. That's just the kind of team Liverpool is. Calm Jones. Is it Calm Jones? Brings the ball and Butland saves. Okay. 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 This game is getting intense. This game is getting heated. We have the possession. The shots are identical. Apart from we had an extra shot just now. So, extra shot, extra goal. Right. Well, we need to keep, we need to keep this up. We need to keep this up. This is very important for us. This is good play. We're playing quite well. We're not outplaying Liverpool, but we're not letting them, you know, establish a foothold in this game, which is nice. Frankie de Jong getting a yellow card. Potentially we can, you know, I wish there was a thing where you could actually target, you know, a player. Maybe there is. Tell me. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Not going to lie. This is one of the first few games where I'm actually really happy to see no highlights. Lay French, who is not French. It's a free kick. We've been very bad with free kicks. Rafinha steps up for a corner. Virgil saves it. Oh my god. He could have paid me back and he does pay it back. He flicks it on to Naby Keita and Keita assists Sadio Mane. And again, another set piece mess up. There's bad words that I want to use instead of mess up. When a great clearance by Bianchi and I think I hit him again and lol. Mane did not mean that. I think Nabi Keita is going to be quite pissed off. I'm afraid to make substitutions. This is the first few games where I'm just kind of tempted to just keep it up. Uh, Vera, good into play. Raskazov, is he going to do the same thing? Ibrahim, is he going to do the same thing? And they link up again! And they link up again! And this is 2-1! Oh, Ibrahim and Fernandez, where is that green link? Can you even get a green link from that? No, you can't, but they need a green link. Oh my god, I think it's time. I know Raskazov has been playing very well. Gujman, Jason Lau is going to have to come on a bit lower, I think, and just be like, Anchorman, do not run, buddy. You have no legs. Oh, is that going to bite me in the ass? Bianqui, no, you stay. I don't trust Zagre. It's not going to bite me in the ass. It could bite me in the ass. It might bite me in the ass, but not from this. Not from this. Not like this. Okay. I think very defensive. I know. I know. I know. I know it is. Spillane is not playing well. So what we're going to do, we're going to take it cheekily. Keep Vera on. Vera is a good player. Actually, not do this. And then who can play? Sonje. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting. We're parking the bus here. We know what's going on. We just need to be careful. Ibrahim. Fernandez, can they link up for the third time? If they link up for the third time, we can do it. Vera brings it up. Ibrahim blows past Robertson. Not so much. Chalaba, Vera, Mateos, Chalaba. He's kind of stationary, but we're playing it safe. That's good. It's good to see Mateos, Chalaba. To Hansen. Oh, there's another chance. And no, not like this. Not like this. Was that a header from Joe Gomez from, like, outside the box? Oh, my God. We're winning 2-1. Can this happen? Can this happen? Can this... Ha oh, no, that's the worst part about having the game in 2D. Is that you don't get to see your player celebrate, but we've done it! Lama predicts the future. Lama predicts the future. And give me a second, please. Sorry, I just... Oh, man. I just had a really weird moment when I was like, I forgot to click record, didn't I? Didn't I? Okay, check in. Man. Just a moment of elation of us winning the bloody FA Cup. And then realizing, oh no, I may have I may have not recorded this. But I have, and I did, and you're seeing this. Ah! We've done it! Javier Fernandez, the man does not want to uh, I guess to give up his position to Ross, to Arp, to Brewster, to anybody. And funny story, Ibrahim. He got two assists. His passing is good. Lau is going to get the trophy. Is he going to get the trophy? Oh my goodness. Lama predicts the future. Like, you know the octopus, yeah? The, in 2010, you know, the Polo the octopus. And then who was it for the, was it the cat? The Russians had the cat. Yeah, so we have Lama predicting the future. Oh man. Yes. Bolton lift the FA Cup on a hard and bouncy surface at Wembley. I didn't know it's hard and bouncing, but sure, we have done it. We have won the FA Cup. And what does that mean for us? The board is happy. Of course the board is happy. Bolton to receive 4 million. Eh, negligible. 
Uh, Mr. Spaceman is a god. Jason Lau, he does bring it. He does win it. And what a way to retire. Your last game for the club. You come on. And you win the FA Cup. And with that, he can retire. He can enjoy himself. How much money was he earning? He was earning 3k a, a week. To be fair, more than most of us earn. Josh Emanuel gets a medal as well. I love it. I love it. Everyone's getting medals. Who else gets it? Who is random enough to get it? Zalewski wins it. Arujo. Harker. Sonje. Okay. That would have been sad for him. Oh, who saved? Who brought us here? It was Fernandes. The man. Scoring four goals in four appearances. Oh, man. I am I am one of the top. I am one of the most successful managers. I think that's good. Yeah, let's do the conference later. Who? I'm an outstanding manager. Who are you, John McGinley? You are one of our own. Bolton is happy. Of course he's happy. Oh, I love this. Should I give him a rest? Like, that's it. This is the end of season. What are you going to do, buddy? My Fernandes. Fernandes. My God. Sampoli. Bolton qualified for Euro Cup. And I don't know if I'm happy about that. But we've actually made it into Euros. We've made it into Euros. What does that mean? Tottenham gets Euro Cup too. <laughs> what a way to end the season. Right. Whew. Okay. So what we're going to do now. We're going to not simulate this time. Because I actually want to hit the thing. Where we see you know the talks. Because in the five seasons of this, I have never managed to hit on time. I always skip it. You know, the end of season thing. So, I will see you in a bit when we kind of talk about how we've done this season. Okay? Don't go anywhere. After a quick lunch break, we are back. And we're ready to show you the end of season highlights, end of season stuff. Recap what happened. You know, that sort of stuff. So, interestingly enough, Braintweight and Igrevera were just included recently to become part of the Bolton's proud history. And Braintwaite was put in the centre-back position in the first team. And for some reason, Igor Vera isn't there. So I think that just shows how good Ali Crawford is. Oh, some of the names, you know, the bring back memories. Like Campania, who, I wonder how he's done. 11 goals in 29 games. That's not bad. You know, not bad. In, uh, in, wait. Okay, no, that is La Liga. Okay. Whew. I was like, if Getafe got relegated, that'd be sad. Politic, still kicking about. Matthews, where is he? Is he still in Wigan? Wigan. No, he's in Portsmouth. Wow. Eh, it's not bad. He's doing well as well. But yeah, not bad. We only got two new players. End of season awards. Okay, so are we surprised that the fans player of the season is Kenzo? He played amazing. I think he had like 7.4 something rating for the season. 7.3. At some point, he was as high as 7.4. Yeah, if you can see... Yeah, he's had a good season. He's had a very good season. Not the best in terms of assists and stuff, but he was just running, you know, setting up plays, that sort of stuff. You know, a very important player for the middle of the pitch. Spillane, you know, fair. He contributed quite a lot as well. Good man. Very good man. He's developed quite well. You can see he kind of doubled his goal tally. He did less assists, but more player of the matches. And a 7.33 rating. So that's nice. And Jared Brentwaite, you know, the young man came into the squad, what, last year? He's both seasons have played well. He's slightly better, you know, but he's still he's, he's a very good player. Goal of the season, Igor Vera. I do not remember this one. Signing of the season, are we surprised? Mateus Fernandez. For as cheap as we got him, he quickly became an integral part of the team. 7.04 rating. Like, for, per, for a halfback who's not really, you know, halfback suited, he is pretty good. And I think that's just because of his stamina, his work rate. He's just running around, cleaning stuff up while you know, Gujman creates and Vera creates. And young player of the season went to Gujman. I do believe that Ross and Vera might have been slightly robbed, but at the same time, I think Ross had a decent first season for us. You know, 13 goals. And if it wasn't for injuries, he could have done better. Vera done really well. Raskazov could have gone for, you know, transfer of the season because 7.09 rating, he quickly revolutionized us. In our defensive plays. And Tuan Esbe was decent. Yeah. And apart from that, let's look at the stats. Jordan Ross, top goal scorer. Always surprised. 17 goals. Good man. Good youngster. Good first season. Highest average rating is Kenzo. Not surprised. Most assists goes to Jordan. So I think that's what happens when you move him to the left. Best pass completion. Mateus Fernandez, who is our engine. That's fair enough. 
most player of the matches, Spillane, and most yellow and reds is Fernandez. You know, as I said, cleans up the pitch quite well. Occasionally brings the yellow cards. So club vision expectation, just whatever. Except within bud, within uh, wage budget, want us to I guess reach a knockout stages. Which to be fair, we kind of want as well. Top half, and yeah, it's realistic. That's fair. Then I'm accept date. We'll do the meeting later. Uh, end of season break. Destination right. Hmm, where do I want to go? I think we've been to Singapore before. South Africa, Scotland, Holland. We gotta go somewhere far. Let's go to the US. Why not? Have a nice trip. Go visit, you know, Josh Emanuel. He doesn't have to travel that far. And yeah. So, I guess let's you know, just quickly cover what we've done. So, we've we finished the season 6th with 69 points. You remember. We won in the English FA Cup. Again, you should have remembered. It happened like minutes ago. And we got knocked out by City in the Carabao Cup. So overall, very, very good season. We have done very well. We got a few youngsters coming in. You know, very well done. I am I need to keep Raskazov. I need to keep Fernandez. Kenzo Gujman is probably going to, you know, try and leave. Uh, Hansen, I'm not sure. I think you might have to go. He hasn't played as much as I thought. And if someone's interested for quite a good money, I'll be good. Um, in terms of who's gonna we're gonna see more next season, I think Joel Settle. I like the way he started, so he's definitely gonna show up a bit more. Ryan Harker will definitely show up more. He scored quite important goals. Mendoza, Zalewski, pretty much everyone here. Basage, I'm really curious to try him because he looks like wow. First of all, he's developing quite well, and if you compare him to Vera, they're not you know millions of. No, they are. They are millions of But he is for an 18-year-old. He's, you know, the vision's similar. The technique is not too, you know, different. So a few more years under his belt, a few more games. He hasn't played a single game for us for obvious reasons. Oh, man. In terms of who will be trying to improve, we definitely need to improve a goalkeeper's position. Um, trying to think of what we should do. Maybe a better halfback. I know Fernandes is good, but... Is he good to challenge, you know, for the Champions League spots? Center back pairings, we might have to get a new center back. But apart from that, we're, we're done really well. Like, we are ready in terms of strikers. We got, remember, Arp and Brewster. You know, maybe maybe this guy that we signed a while back, he could be well. Pinchuk, I don't remember if I showed him to you, but, you know, he's already quite a decent defender. And with a few games in hand, I mean, he's played 16 games for CSK this year, so... You know, could be, could be, could be useful for us. Right. Are we missing anything else? Does anything else happen that's really important? It's 2024. There's going to be, was it the World Cup? No, not the World Cup. Euros, I think, actually. Let's check a look. Oh, nope. Um, hmm, sure. Yeah, so it's a, this one happening in Germany. So, you know, some teams are in here. We might take a look at this occasionally. I'm curious to see how Russia does. I'm obviously curious how England does. Ireland. Ooh. Is Spillane their key player? Not quite. So Obafemi is. But this man is actually playing. You know, is he the best player? No, he's not. Connolly is. Which is the, um, the guy from Brighton, I do believe. Right. And Troy Parrott. Ooh, Troy Parrott's not developing as well this season, which is quite peculiar. We might see and steal him 17 goals and 19 caps wow man ireland has a pretty good team might need to go and raid them right so this has been the end of season five next season we'll see you for the first game wherever that is and i will update you on some transfers i'll update you on whatever else is happening let's finally check if the stadium is available to build it's not shame we have the money for it what's gonna happen then right so thank you for watching. I really appreciate. Uh, next next episode, I don't know when it's going to be because technically on Wednesday, I am getting my ACL surgery. So I won't be able to sit up. Maybe I can film somehow while, while sitting in bed, you know, like recover from the ACL. That'd be quite cool. But yeah, so I'll see you on Friday. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We won. We won the FA Cup. We were in Europe. So now we need to change the title. Maybe we're wondering back into i don't know champions league all right anyways thank you for watching i appreciate it and i will see you in the next episode bye guys